Hello, hello guys. I'm going to be testing out the just modern faction, and I will be giving my opinion on the new good and evil factions. I have been playing around with them a bit, and then we can hop into some multiplayer. If you guys didn't know, they did add multiplayer to this game. Let me just do the just modern faction. There are some really cool people in here. I'm just going to do a quick run through all of them. We have the chef, chickens, head crabs, policeman, cheeky, breaky, mafia, stealth, shotgunner, modern, crossbow, kamaziki, drone, alien, signalman, riot, police, gravity guy, soldier, attack drone, cyberpunk, horse police. Oh, I haven't even seen those yet. <laughs> Capo, kickboxer, special forces, hoverboard, chemist, wrestlers. Sniper, Freeman, Flamethrower, Blitz Squad. You guys get the point. There are a lot. This last section is actually really cool. You have Godzilla, which is just a big raptor. King Kong. Uh, Mega Tank. Zeppelin. Oh my gosh. That's going to be fun to play with. And yes, I did just fail to whistle. Yes, yeah, so you have Alien Emperor. It's gonna be really cool, guys. <laughs> so, what should we start with? You know what? How about we set up something with this? I believe there is a cargo helicopter. Yeah. And we'll put two... Oh, we can't have them be that close to each other. So we'll do like one, two, three. And we will say that these cargo helicopters are carrying some very important stuff. That we need sit safe. So I'll do that and that and that. And then we will put some anti-aircraft on their side. Huh. What do put? Oh yeah. We still have another row. We can put a heliplane. Nah. That seems a bit close. If I can. Nah. Their, their person inside is very difficult to get. Whatever. Uh. Oh. Destroyed one of my anti aircraft. So I'll put them on the sides since they are just so big. Um, there we go. Can put some air balloons. And, huh. Can put an attack helicopter. I'll put one. And then I'll go behind to, to protect. You know, the back. Because you never know what's going to happen. Who should be attacking them? Or, you know what, we'll add two bomb helicopters. One, two. And, you know what, four. Three, four. Perfect. Who should be attacking them? Ooh, big old Godzilla. So, place your bets right now. Who do you guys think is going to win? And yes, we will go down all the rows. We'll see what all of them do. So this is going to be a very long video. Go get your snacks, get your drinks, and prepare to be entertained. Because the fight starts now. Here we go. Oh my gosh, they all heard it together. Heard it. Wow. <laughs> um, oh, look at all those clams. I don't know what they're dropping from. That's awesome. Oh, are those the bomb helicopters? I think that is. Godzilla, he's doing pretty well. He's knocked out a lot of people. We saw her to, uh... Oh my gosh, he won before I could even get a f another sentence out. Holy moly, guys. Oh, don't know what's happening here. Okay, there we go. Holy moly. Godzilla just took all of them out. Oh my gosh, there's a King Kong too. Guys, this is the true Godzilla versus King Kong. Let's see. Let's see. And I won't see it. I have seen it though, and I can recommend it. Oh, oh, oh my! Well, I can tell you the fight does not end that quickly in the movie. That's all I'm gonna say, but oh my goodness. That is crazy. Okay. Godzilla needs to die somehow, right? You know, we should just put him up against the Ice Giant. Oh, actually, who's gonna win? The Ice Giant or King Kong? 
Well, come on. I want King Kong to win. I think he's gonna win. You got it, King Kong. Yeah. Oh, big punch by King Kong. Oh, is he throwing these little stone balls at him? Yes, he is. Throwing some punches. The ice breath isn't doing anything to King Kong. It's ineffective. And King Kong wins. Rest in peace, Ice Giant. There's a new champ in town. <laughs> Godzilla. Huh. Well, let's test out the Mega Tank against Godzilla. Uh, tell me in the comments if the comments work. I have no idea why they're not working. I'll tag my Instagram below the video to uh, see if this is to see if you guys do have ideas you guys can just obviously um dm me on instagram but if you guys do have any ideas for videos of any type please message me i'm gonna test this out again because king kong is op and oh so he's facing test machines by the way is that him Yes, that is our, um, Mega Drone. Oh my! <gasps> our Mega Tank, I'm sorry. Look at these task machines. What is this? These are crazy. Oh my gosh, are they gonna take him up there with him? They did last time. Look at him, he's trying to get there so hard. There's nothing you can do. And then this one was upside down. Oh my god! He's throwing down in every direction you can think of. I think that he is going to take them out though. Uh, yeah. So, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt on that. And then we can do... Oh my. And we haven't seen him yet, and it looks like he's not standing much of a chance we can have him. This thing is awesome. Okay, I need to see now. Can he be Godzilla? There's no way he can, right? He's just destroying them. Yeah. I oh, wait. He won? No way, guys. Let's put this in slow motion. What does he do? Okay, so yeah, he's shooting bullets from under. There's this guy. inside him oh nothing amazing there but oh my gosh underneath it's him so is this the guy who you need to yeah and then Godzilla did that thing where he shoots out that nuclear um, whatever it's called <laughs> that nuclear breath Godzilla is undefeatable guys well that's not true that's just uh <laughs> he'll never lose <laughs> Oops. He'll never lose. Yeah. He's just no different. Yeah. <laughs> um, back to this video's idea. Huh. We should do... Ooh, we could test out the aliens, but let's go back to the fun stuff. Okay. So, we didn't... Oh, what is this guy? Okay, so he has two AR-15s and a lot of armor <laughs> and with a little guy with a bazooka on his shoulder. That is awesome. This just looks intimidating. Imagine you're walking along the street and you see this guy walk into your bank. You're giving him all your money. Well, these guys, I guess. <laughs> okay, guys. He could fight the alien emperor. What do we think about that? Oh, they are actually very good. The alien emperor has some good uh, moves as well. Do you guys think he's going to win? Oh, that's true. Or is he missing with his bazooka? What happened to his bazooka? It's like under him. Yeah, so it is him shooting the ground. So now he's not. Our other guy with two AR-15s must be struggling.
not going. Oh, what was that? A little lucky. Oh, we killed our little bazooka guy, and the alien emperor is going to win. And so I did already show you guys the heli plane. If you forgot, we can. Well, well, yeah, I'll show you again. They basically just shoot at each other. <laughs> not that. Um, mind blowing. <laughs> we can do Wolverine versus. Nope, not him. Versus Terminator on a bike. Look at this Terminator. Wolverine ain't doing much right now. We can put it in slow mo. Terminator misses the shot. Oh my gosh, yeah, Wolverine did just get a few good shots. Oh, he, he doesn't have his own. Other weapons, Terminator, obviously. If you guys haven't seen the movie, you should watch it. It's amazing. And Wolverine might be really good as well. Oh, big punch to the face. Hard to come back from that. Okay, yeah, we can put it back in normal because I was, that was getting old. Oh, he has a pirate special. And he does it three, four times with five times. Go and go and go. That must be what he does before he dies. He must do this a bunch. Oh my gosh, look at that. So basically what he does, I'll put it in slow motion for you. He spins around and then he drops bombs. It's pretty simple. <laughs> and Wolverine won. Okay, they were both pretty cool. And then we have the one helicopter and just the plain old Terminator. We can face him against another Terminator. No. Okay. <laughs> They're the same thing as a Terminator on a bike, just without the bike. Okay. We can put these two against each other because anti aircraft, UFO, kind of makes sense, you know? Okay. Look at that UFO just throw this anti aircraft around. What is he shooting at? Thought it was an anti-aircraft. Oh, so there was a sniper on that as well. And while we're looking at the sniper, the UFO takes the win. Now we can do Battlegrounder versus... How about Dawn? Dawn. Dawn action. Oh, he throws bombs with one hand, and with the other, he shoots his weapon. He's probably very inaccurate. But with the bomb, alright, he's just being thrown around by our battlegrounder. He throws a nice little bomb. He has to reload. I'm curious, are his bullets bouncing off of this? Off of this guy's pan. Because I think they are. Oh my gosh! Multiple bombs at once. Yeah, everything is just bouncing off of his pan. Battlegrounder destroys him. Uh, the alien lord versus a helicopter. We can get this moving. Oh! Much. He has a few of his little guns. We're just kind of messing around with him. Attack helicopter. Seems to be winning. Um, kind of a boring battle. Maybe we can get a more action packed one. You know what? We'll put him up against the cargo helicopter. Which. Yeah. That was the cargo helicopter that was dropping everything. And that was trying to defeat them. Okay. It was not the bummer. Hmm. We can do fire cannon versus Jason. <sighs> Look at Jason. He, he has his mask, his sword. <sighs> no gun, which is accurate. And so here... We have, I believe it was our fire gunner. Let's see how it plays out. 
The fight starts now. Oh, yeah, that takes a while to load up. When Jason gets there, he just one-shots him. That's crazy. Does he have very little health? Or we can just do our score guy, yeah. And he's going to defeat the Scorpion King too, or the Scorpion as well. Mm. So if I put out a Captain versus an APC, oh wow, which is basically just a tank with a guy on the back. Blue is gonna destroy him. Our Captain is destroying. Yeah. Him. Oh, okay, guys, there are a lot of people here. We aren't gonna get through all of them, so I say we just go right to. The good versus evil. So this is a void monarch, and I will put him next to two deathbringers and a tempest lich on each side, and then a void cultist on all four ends. And I'm gonna do the exact same setup with with good. We will find out if good or evil is truly better. We will put sentinels, uh, exiled sentinels, and then we will put. A few shadow walkers around them. Okay, for good. Oh, we will put a. Excuse me if I pronounce this wrong. I've probably pronounced a lot of things wrong. <laughs> this video, I apologize. A chronomancer. <gasps> chronomancer, maybe. And then, oh, they're gonna get two sacred elephants, which which could be very useful. A divine. Arbiter. Uh, what did I do with these guys? I put them on all four sides. One, two, three, four. Radiant Glaive. Here, here. And then I will put these guys right along here. One. Two, three, and then these guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I guess I'm only gonna use ten. I messed up somewhere. It's okay. Let the fight start now. This is just causing havoc. I believe this is the number of the swarm. Um, 3001 Blue Victory. Looks like evil won. Wow. That's scary. Man, this guy is unbelievable. Look at that. That is just crazy. Um, I feel like we do have a little bit more time, so we can run a quick little tournament of all the normal ones I'm not going into. You know what, we'll just do up to pirate. Everything up to pirate. Alright, so we will go... These guys right here, we're doing a back line of clubbers. We can put our chieftain, a few bone mages to protect him. That's not a chieftain. Need to double click him. Okay. We can put some. I'm I'm gonna put the stoners at the front because I don't want them to cause harm to their fellow uh, soldiers. And they will be fighting the farmers. Let's say that, huh? The farmers are protesting. They feel like they want to get paid more. And so they went all out and they had to send in as much as the military to defend them. To defend, um, I don't know, I guess the king. <laughs> we'll find a king. Ooh, maybe we'll make one in the workshop and that could be a video. Who knows? And so we will have a heavy line of hay balers, huh? A max of 50 troops. Uh, 
put a lot of farmers here. And then we'll just do five halflings sacrificing themselves. And let the battle begin. Oh, look at this epicness. And he will just do that. There you go. Oh, the farmers are getting a good start. That scarecrow is going to be effective on these back lines. Um, hmm. The farmers are just destroying them. There's not much to be said about this. Alright, so farmers will advance to the next round. Um, now, medieval versus the ancient. This is one of my favorite battles to create. Because I feel like the medieval and ancient, they're just so, um, I guess you could say similar in the sense of how they would fight. And so I will do... Uh, I, yeah, I wouldn't really know what to say it, but their fighting style is so similar in the sense that they would just go brute force and they would use swords and shields. It was... It was truly a, an amazing time, it, or an amazing era. Knights are very powerful. Okay. Huh. I guess we can put some bands. Although they really are useless. <laughs> Fighting the ancient. The ancient are... They are fascinating. They are honestly very smart and creative because they didn't have much to work with ever so just the stuff that they did come up with like the ballista and then obviously this stuff is from like percy jackson and stuff uh i will move this snake archer over a bit so that i can add another ballista oh okay and then we will add the snake archer back. And why don't we just add one, two, three more of these guys? Here we go. By the way, the reason that I set these guys up like this is because those uh, sort of go through the shield and they can get in before it's done. It seems pretty dead even right now if the Minotaurs keep working hard and they can defeat them. Now it's looking like it's leaning towards the Ancient. Yeah, the Ancient are really pulling away at this point. I would have thought that the Medieval would have won, but it was not very that close. That's not true, it was close. But these Minotaurs were really big, and so was that Zeus. Whew. I talk too much. <laughs> Alrighty, the Vikings and them, then the Renaissance and the Pirates, and then we have round two. The Vikings. They were like one of the very first people, one of the very, very first people to be here on the planet Earth. I will put some jars of. Jarls, Jarls, I don't know. And I will put two Valkyries on each side. Or put two Valkyries on each side. There we go. There we go. So I put these on the side. Uh, let me count how many I do. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect! So we can put some brawlers here. Some ice archers around these sides. And some head butters to finish this off. And so, one, two, three. Perfect! This is awesome. The dynasty. My personal favorite uh faction is the dynasty so now you know that and that we can put two dragons here this is big monks are probably my favorite um units in the game 
put a lot of firework archers on each side, and then a lot of samurai up front. Although monks are actually relatively good, I don't think that I put any ninja in six. Ninja is going to be a lot because they are very good troops. Here we go. Okay. Vikings have extremely good troops as well. Those who watch, watch these workouts, I'm not sure, were very effective. No dragon is being taken out. We still have one dragon alive. Uh, the dragon Look at these, uh, ninjas. Yep, um, not a good example. <laughs> the Monkey King. Watch, he'll make clones of himself. And, yeah, right there. That he's an extremely good troop. Those Hawachis were just hitting their own troops. Which is fine. There we go. So I think I'll make a part two for this tournament, which will have the final battle, Pirates versus Renaissance, and then everybody that moved on, which will be the Farmers, the Ancient, the Dynasty, and then we'll find out Renaissance or, or Renaissance or Pirates. This was a great video to film, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you made it here, please drop a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.